Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a empties video. My bag of empties is all down here. I've also got a whole bunch of other products here. Just gone through a lot of products lately and I thought I'd share them with you guys and talk about them and if I would repurchase or not and if so why or if I'd recommend any products. Oh my gosh, I really want to fix this here. Just gonna open it you guys. All right, we're just going to go with this. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to know what um, I've used up lately and if I'd recommend them to you guys or my thoughts on some products, then keep watching. So we've got some skincare. We've got some mainly like skincare, hair care, hygiene. We'll start with hair. Is I've used up my hair protectant oil. This is, I mean, oil, hair protectant in this mist. I can't speak. This is like, this is what happens when I'm filming a lot of videos. This is Tony and Guy Heat Protection Mist. It's 230 degrees Celsius protection and control. This is what I use when I'm styling my hair. If I'm straightening or if I'm curling. I think it's alright. I didn't notice anything crazy about it. But it's really hard to tell with heat protectant sprays. Um, it didn't make my hair sticky or anything at all. So I guess that's a plus. It just feels normal when I spray it in. And I did straighten my hair last night. And I went to sleep with it. Yeah, I do like this. I like that it says 230 degrees Celsius on it. So you know that it protects your hair when you're applying that much heat to your hair. So... I like that. I don't really have anything else to say about this. I could try another one. If this is on sale, I'll probably buy this. Or if Tresemme is cheaper, I'll probably get that one. Let me know what you guys think if you've tried this one. If you've tried Tresemme or what your favorite hair protectant mist is. Like an affordable one. Next up, hairspray. My favorite hairspray. I think I spoke about this in my hair care routine. This is by Elnit L'Oreal Elnit Satin in the Keratin, I think it's Ultra Hold. Supreme Hold. I really love this. This is the only hairspray that holds my curls in and it doesn't leave it feeling like really crunchy like you can just comb them out and your hair feels fine. I really love this. Definitely would repurchase this. This massive can I think is like $15-$20. I'll probably just get a smaller one seeing as I don't actually go through it a lot but I don't think you can get the smaller one in the pink keratin but I do really love this. So I have this oil. It's Moroccan oil. It's Moroccan treatment. This is the normal one. This is expensive, you guys. I think this is like $65. I've probably got like a one or two uses out of left, but it does last me maybe a whole year. I think it lasts me a year because, yeah, the last time I bought one was with my best friend and we were probably bought it last year. I do love this. I love the scent. It makes my hair soft and smooth and I always use it before, like on damp hair, mixed with my Bumble and Bumble um, oil. But do love it and I'd be after a more affordable one. Usually, like the more affordable ones, I feel like don't do much to my hair because my hair is quite coarse and thick. If it wasn't so expensive, I would buy it again. I guess that's it for hair care. Let's go on about skin. My favorite makeup remover is the Garnier Micellar Water, the original one. And then the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and Oil. This I use on my eyes. This is amazing for waterproof makeup. This one I use all, of my, all over my face. This one I've tried using on my face but it breaks me out because I just can't use it. I think, meh, I'm not actually sure why. Maybe it's a fragrance or something and I can't use it breaks me out. So I love this on my face. So I always get both of them and they're quite affordable. I think I got them for $12 or $13 each like on sale. Or maybe even 10 Who knows how much. But Warehouse says I'm really cheap. I'm almost out of this. I've already got backups of both. So you know I really love these. Next up we have some body... Products. Got my Rexona deodorant. Love this. This is the Clinical Protection Sheer Powder. I really like this. It's slightly more expensive. I like the scent. I've replaced it with the um, Mitchum one that I spoke about in my favorites, my last favorites video. But if it wasn't so expensive, I'd buy it again. Like that's what I kind of feel with these products. Like I have quite expensive products in my opinion. And if it was more affordable here, I wouldn't bet an eye because this is about $14, $15 for deodorant, you know? Even if it's converted into a different currency it's still quite pricey i do like that but i replaced it with the mitchum one i like the scent of that one a lot got some body oil this is the johnson and johnson's baby oil bedtime baby oil it smells so nice i always use it after i get out of the shower i have like a tiny bit left but i thought i would include it in my empties when i buy this again um i think i have another one somewhere because i think i bought two of them i'm not sure actually i do quite like it maybe if it's on sale I do really like baby oil, so I might get this one or I might just get the original one because that's nice as well. The original one with the pink pink top, so yeah. Okay, next up, skincare. So I have two products by Goodness. I love Goodness. They're more natural products. I've got the Every Morning Moisturizer. This is the original one with the SPF. This has, I think, chia seed, hibiscus, avocado, and coconut oil. It's just like a really gentle moisturizer. And my skin quite likes it, so... 
would definitely recommend. I would purchase it again. I think I've got the smaller um, travel size of it that I'm using up. I'm going through some other moisturizers to use up, but I do really love this. Alongside that, I have the Goodness Every Evening Cream. This is really good too. I, don't, I think it's a small, it's a deluxe size. It's 25 mils. But this is an evening cream. Like, look how much I've used it up. I'm probably going to reuse this container. But I do like this. It's rich enough, but it's not too rich to the point where it just feels really heavy on your skin. It just feels really nice and moisturizing on your skin before bed. So I really love this. Oh my gosh, my favorite sunscreen is by Mecca Cosmetica. It's the To Save Face SPF 50 Plus Super Screen with skin perfecting vitamins, superior, superior UVA defense luxe hydrating cream. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is such an amazing sunscreen. I think I've been using it for two years, maybe. It comes out like this light to very faint pink. It's got such a beautiful scent to it. It doesn't feel like you're wearing sunscreen at all. And it sits really well under your makeup. It's not greasy. It just melts into your skin. And I or I literally just wear this on a daily basis, like just sunscreen, because it's SPF 50. And it's about $41. So I've bought, I think, two or three of these and I will continue to use it because it's amazing. Really, really love this. Um, I think that's pretty much all of my empties, you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I upload new videos every single week. Actually, no, I'm uploading every single day right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone. Okay. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I need to drink some water. First up, I filmed a makeup look on this tutorial. I mean, I filmed a tutorial on this makeup look. 